I hear a lot about flying by the numbers. How do I do that? Why is it a better way to fly? This time in the ABS hangar, by the numbers demonstration. This will be a demonstration of By the Numbers flying. By the Numbers philosophy is designed to reduce pilot workload and allows to fly a more precise, predictable approach. By the Numbers power settings are contained in the Guides to Initial Pilot Checkout and other BPPP training materials. They're an approximation. For example, uh, late model A36s typically take about 18 inches of manifold pressure, and this is definitely a 17 inch manifold pressure airplane. It's a little more aerodynamically slick, and the engine's right out of overhaul, so it's probably putting out just absolutely maximum power. Also have the new Hartzell propeller that might play a part in that as well. If you set the power correctly, the airplane will decelerate to about 120 knots in a clean configuration. So the first thing I'm going to do is put out the approach flaps. Now, if the airplane does not have pre-select flaps, you might do it at a lower power setting and flaps up. I'm going to put out the approach flaps. Gives you a little bit of an increase in altitude initially and then a slight nose down pitch attitude. And as you trim away the pressure from that pitch change, the airplane will decelerate to about 110 knots. Very predictably, very, very close to 110 knots. So I have, I have my power setting, I have my power set, which is manifold pressure, RPM at 2500, mixture I've gone ahead to go to full rich so I don't have to add mixture in a missed approach or a go around, on altitude and the airplane's at just about published 110 knot speed. From here, all it takes to go down on a three degree glide path is to extend the landing gear. So the gear's coming down, two, three, there's my pitch change, one, two, three, green, four, five, six, green. And the airplane settles into a very predictable, roughly five to 600 foot per minute rate of descent at just about exactly the same speed, hands off, with no change in trim. Very easy, very simple to fly glide slope like this. I'm going to choose 6,500 as my decision height for this simulated approach. And all I'm going to do is practice flying the airplane down at five to 600 foot per minute. And again, it's pretty much hands off. Now, if you're a little high on glide path, you can pitch down just a degree or two to increase the rate of descent until you reacquire and then back up. If you're a little low, you can bring the nose up a degree or so to decrease the rate of descent. When you're back on path, glide path, back to the pitch attitude, which is about three degrees below the horizon. Airspeed remains constant. As you descend, the manifold pressure will increase, so it takes a slight reduction in manifold pressure about halfway down the glide slope to maintain the rate of descent and hold glide slope. 200 to go. When I miss the approach, well, the mixture's already set, the prop's already set, all I have to do is advance the throttle to full. The airplane will tend to nose up to maintain our trimmed airspeed, which is very close to our 110 as published. 40 feet, hand on throttle. Missed approach, power comes up. Very little requirement for me to do anything with my hands. Positive rate, gear coming up, flaps coming up and the airplane settles into initially about a VY attitude and will accelerate to its cruise climb speed 
with little to no change in trim required. So that's a precision approach profile. I'm going to go back up to 7,500 feet. Now to level off, say I'm going to enter a holding pattern at about 100 feet before, I can put my approach flaps back out and pull my throttle back to my target power setting. Hold the pitch as necessary to get that last little bit of climb. And then settle right on altitude. And so this way the airplane does not accelerate as I'm getting close to my holding fix. I just have to get the altitude precisely, tweak the manifold pressure as needed, and the plane will accelerate to about my 110 target and stay there. For a non-precision approach, a traditional dive and drive type approach, we're going to start the same way, the same configuration. In this airplane, about 17 to 18 inches of manifold pressure. Approach flaps, 2,500 RPM. At the final approach fix, I'll extend the landing gear. Feels right, pitch is right, one, two, three, green, four, five, six, green, no reds. And the airplane once again settles back down into that trimmed five to 600 foot per minute rate of descent. But if I need to come down more rapidly, I can reduce manifold pressure by two more inches. And the nose tweaks down just a little bit more, maintaining the same trimmed airspeed. And now I'm going to go down at about eight, seven, eight hundred foot per minute, no more than a thousand foot per minute. I'm going to select 6,500 as my simulated minimum descent altitude. Five hundred feet to go. Because of this rate of descent, I'll need to apply power to level off fifty to one hundred feet above my target altitude, above my minimum descent altitude. So I'm looking for about six thousand six hundred feet, or about two hundred feet to go. Airspeed is still right within a knot or two of my one hundred and ten knot, knot target. Vertical speed is about what I expect. I need to tweak off that manifold pressure a little bit. That was my 200 feet to go alarm. Here's my 100 feet. To arrest the descent, including the drag of the extended landing gear, I need to come up to about 22 inches of manifold pressure. And the airplane pretty much pitches up to maintain speed. And levels off, pretty much hands off, pretty much trimmed, right on my selected altitude, my minimum descent altitude. Fly the mist, exactly the same as the precision approach. Power, pitch comes up. You have to help it a little bit from this draggy level attitude. Positive rate, gear up, wrap up. Flap open, and the airplane will pretty much settle into that cruise climb again. So that's by the numbers. When you fly with a BPPP instructor, you'll find the numbers that work for your specific airplane. This video is part of the American Bonanza Society's Beechcraft Essential Systems and Techniques course, free to members in the ABS Online Learning Center. Log in or become a member at bonanza.org. Don't miss another edition of The ABS Hangar. Subscribe to the American Bonanza Society YouTube channel. We'll see you next time in The ABS Hangar.